Welcome to my kitchen. Let's make a sandwich. That is delicious. Who wants a grilled cheese sandwich? I do. Who wants some country ham? I do. Who wants a country ham grilled cheese sandwich? I do. Yeah. Hey. Country ham. Two pieces of bread. Swiss cheese. Yellow mustard. Coke Zero, because there's no other soda in the fridge. And Smart Balance. Why? Because it's smart. First things first, you want to grease up your pan or your bread, whichever way. It's up to you. Personal preference is fine. I prefer the pan. Medium high heat's good. Medium's okay too if you don't want to brown the bread too much or if you have to walk away for a second. Go tend to the kids, walk the dog, feed the dog, whatever. Medium's good. I prefer medium high because I'll be standing here right in front of you doing it, so I'm on medium high. I'm gonna go get a knife. Smart balance. You got your butter melting, go ahead and pop that delicious soda that you found in your fridge. And this is just how I like to butter my bread. You're ready to go. Turn the heat up just a little bit. Take our delicious yellow mustard, spread that shit all over it. Beautiful mustard action there. Take your cheese. I'm gonna do four today. I'm feeling the four. Save my last piece for later. Please get this melted. Go ahead and grab a top. The perfect fit. Always works best. We'll let that sit in there and steam up nice and nice. Now in the meantime, you have your uh, meat pan getting hot on a different eye. You can always use a little bit of your soda to, uh, to test it, test the temperature. I prefer root beer. Sometimes grape soda works really well. Uh, it's really whatever you like to use. We're good and hot now, so I'm going to go ahead and add my country ham. And hit it with the soda. Helps loosen it up, keep it from sticking. It also just gives it a nice caramelization to the meat. The sweetness of the soda counteracts the saltiness of the pork really, really well. Or turn the heat up to almost high, just you know, just to cook it faster. I know it's trying to do a quick, quick lunch here. You don't have all day to sit and watch it cook, so you want it to go ahead and finish. You really want to cook it until the soda dissipates from the pan. You want, to, you want to reduce it all the way down so it's really, really syrupy. And then flip your meat in that, and you can turn the pan off at that point, and it'll caramelize the other side. So you have nice, nice uh, dark brown country ham grilled cheese sandwich. Not quite there, almost. Flip it over and let it finish on the other side. Go ahead and turn your burner off. Put your lid on it. All right, remove your lid. You might have to flip it a couple times while it cooks to make sure it gets that color on it. Add your meat to your grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Let me take that piece of cheese that I had saved. Slap that bad boy right on top. Put the top back on it and let it sit for just a minute until it's done. 
And there you have your country ham grilled cheese sandwich. Thanks for checking us out today. I hope you had fun. I know I had fun. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and check out our other videos.